welcome back yes we are yeah with the new vehicle and that's actually the mammoth patriot military spec nice so this looks absolutely it, it looks mean okay you can see it doesn't even be crazy good at off-road you can add machine guns armor missile lockers uh slicks you can add full armor and just make this thing an absolute tank if you come over to southern san andreas super autos you can find the mammoth patriot military spec for 1.7 million dollars i beg your pardon unless you've done 15 security contracts as a leader that allows you to unlock this vehicle at its trade price but since i haven't done that i had to pay the 1.7 which is it's really it's a steep price i mean if we compare the member squaddy to that you'll actually find that the squaddy is a whole lot cheaper let me just show you what this car is actually based off of i mean it's quite clear to see what it's based off of by the other picture regardless okay so let's not waste any more time and let us go and see a visual customization we can do to it okay and that's customization done so straight away 
The vehicle doesn't sound powerful. You're watching the Learning Channel. I don't know. Maybe I, I would have preferred it to have a more rougher V8 tone. I don't know. We don't care. I mean, it seems like it's going to be a good off-road vehicle. And look, it has a lot of customization. I was expecting a little bit more, but it has a lot of customization. Here are cars for millions that have zero. So this car has a lot of customization. Top speed limited because it is already redlining. I don't know how, but it is. So bull bar doesn't really work because the front lights are already broken. I'm glad that the top lights actually work because on some vehicles, they, they don't, they just dummy lights. So let's check out acceleration. All wheel drive, I mean, it, it launches slowly. It spins the wheels because of the snow. There's a strong lack of grip because it is snowing. Idea. Why didn't I think of that? I see you using this vehicle every day. If you want to look like an absolute beast on the road, then yes, apply all the uh, missile jammers and put the machine guns, you know, it will really make this vehicle stand out. Okay, and, and it'll keep you protected. Interior. Interior, kind of plain, but I mean, it's supposed to be a military vehicle, so... You aren't looking for a luxurious interior. I like that the rev counter is actually on the side and so is the speedometer. You have your oil temperature and, and your normal fuel temperature gauges. I can't speak. Temperature gauges in the middle of the steering wheel. Okay, so the bonnet opens. That's nice. Engine model. Decent engine model. Honestly, not bad. I love the trunk. The tr look, look at that. Wait, look at that. That's funny. I like that. I like that a lot. But you aren't gonna be winning. Ooh, that was close. You aren't gonna be winning races in it. It's it's not gonna be a fastest in its class. So this is just to keep you protected, and it can do that. And its whole bonnet can come off if you are in a front head on accident so out of 10 how would I rate this vehicle I'm gonna give this vehicle a solid 7 out of 10 for just riding around the city this could be a really good off-road vehicle once all the snow is gone so just keep that in mind if you did enjoy this video, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!